The first step to remove a backdoor in your WordPress is to perform a complete malware scanner check of your website. Let's use Sucre for this purpose. The only thing you have to do is enter your website URL on sitecheck.sucre.net. So I go to my website, I copy the URL of the website, go back to Sucuri and paste it here and then I click scan website. It might take some time. Well done, quickly. It's also recommended to delete all the plugins, so let's go to your cPanel. To the main cPanel. Let's click File Manager. On the left you have the folders with all the files from your account. Uh, so find the file with your website. So I click it. Uh, here I have to find a WP content folder and find the plugins. I click plugins and on the right I have all the plugins integrated with my website. So now I have to delete all of them. Just right click and click delete. Yeah, confirm. Delete again. Confirm. Again delete. Confirm and so on and so on and so on. Then check your uploads folders for PHP files. If you find any, delete them. They can also be a sign of backdoor and can be dangerous for your website. So I click the folder with my website and find try to find PHP files and delete all of them. Confirm. Now delete your active themes as they can serve as a backdoor for hackers. So I go to my W content folder, find themes, and on the right I can see all the themes on my website. Again, I right click each of them and click delete. Confirm. Do the same with all the themes. You also have to delete your HT access file as a redirect code is often added as HTC access. So again click uh, the folder with your website's name and on the right find HTC access files, right click and delete them. Confirm. One more thing you have to do is check WP config PHP and WordPress config sample PHP files. If something doesn't look right, resend them. So here I'm trying to find WordPress config PHP files. Here they are. Right click view. Look through the code. If everything's okay, that's great. If you see something wrong, just delete and reset the files. And finally, scar your website database for any backdoor files with a malware scanner. We recommend using Clam Antivirus. It has to be installed in your computer, so click download. You as well need to download the database of your website from the cPanel. For this, you have to go to the main cPanel, find databases section, click the database your website is using, On the left, 
you'll see a folder uh, with the, the same name as your account is. You have to open up that folder. So on the left, you find the folder you need and open it up. Then find the website you're checking, click on it. Now in the upper menu find the export tab and also click. Here you have the go button, click it again. The database of your website is downloaded into your computer and now you can perform the malware scanning. In my case, uh, I'll have to enter the name of the file right here. So let's do it like this, show in folder. And I need the name of the file. Go back here. So I'm issuing a command to check the database for malware and viruses. Great, no backdoors. Hope this video was helpful for you.